Hey, Laura, I saw your truck out here. I was wondering if you had some time to answer some questions about how in-person learning is going to look like here at the middle school and high school. Oh, I would love to take that time for you, anything in the Dragon community. Come on in. I can show you a few things. Well, Laura, what's a student going to do when they first walk into the building? Well, first things first, Chuck. They're first going to step up to the security desk, and the security guard is going to take their temperature to make sure that everybody is well and healthy in our buildings. So they'll just, don't have to touch you. Let me take your temperature. Oh good, you're ready to go. Chuck, um, if you're a visitor at our building, other than a student, you'll be asked to fill out a health screen form and get your temperature taken. And it's just a few questions that we're gonna ask you to make sure that you're healthy and well and able to come in our building. Then after that, we're gonna ask you to use some hand sanitizer. We have these nice hand sanitizer stations at all our entryways. And then the student will, if he's early, will be asked to go to the conference center and wait for school to begin. If it's the middle school student, they'll be asked to go to the cafeteria. And I can show you a little bit about that in the next clip here. Okay, let's do that. Hey Chuck, so this is where the students would come if they show up to school early. We will not unlock the doors till 7 a.m. 7.30 or classes will start. So. We saw where uh, the high school kids will come in early. What about the middle school kids? Where will they go to when they show up early for school? The middle school should enter in the back of the building by the auditorium and cafeteria door number 29. There'll be a staff member posted there to take temperatures and uh, show them where to go. Hey Laura, I was noticing these things on the floor. What, what are these about? Those are our social distancing stickers and flow uh, markings. So what we're asking the students to do and staff is to stay six feet apart for safety. We want the highest level of safety for all students and staff members in our community. So the arrows show the flow of traffic on which side of the hallway you're gonna be walking. If you're walking that way, you follow the arrow. If you're walking this way, you follow the arrow and stay against the wall. Or can, can kids uh, use the lockers uh, this year? Not this year, it's business unusual. So lockers are off limits this year. So I would advise students to bring a light weight jacket or sweatshirt for cooler temperatures. They'll be bringing it to the classroom along with all their utensils for uh, education and work, such as pencils and pens. There's no sharing, no sharing in the buildings this year. The drinking fountains are all uh, covered up here. Is there a reason for that? Yes, uh, this is for our protection so that students don't get their lips or germs, um, you know, throughout the day. So we're closed down all of our drinking fountains and we're asking everybody to bring in water bottles or uh, water bottles filled with water or their favorite drink. Um, so the drinking fountains are all closed off. So Laura, can you tell me how the bathroom trips are going to be now for kids in high school and middle school? So by our roadmap that's mandated by the governor and the, her team, we are cleaning these bathrooms at four hour intervals. And for the students, we don't want them congregating in the bathroom. So there's an occupancy number on each one of our bathrooms. So Laura, I see that the elementary kids are eating in their classrooms. How's it going to work for the middle school and high school? Well, middle school, high school, we've added extra lunches to keep the number of students in the cafeteria down. We also made each table social distance at six feet and we've taken chairs away so that there's not more than four students at a table. And during lunch, they'll be asked to line up and socially distance in the line and receive their food that's all going to be packaged. Uh, they won't be able to uh, have as many choices this year. It's gonna look a little different because it's business is unusual. So Laura, I was in this classroom last year and this classroom looks a lot different. Can you tell me why? Well, we have to stay six feet apart and that's our highest level of safety. So anywhere that we can, we're gonna do this practice. So one student per table, 
or if they have a desk. And also, we want to make sure that we're using hand sanitizers. So we've equipped each room with a hand sanitizer for student and staff safety. Laura, I see the middle school and high school is going to block scheduling. Could you explain the reason behind that? Well, again, Chuck, we want the highest level of safety for our staff and students. So this year, Business Unusual, is we've provided each teacher with two classrooms so that there's only, uh, there's time to clean the classrooms in between uh, when a student exits a classroom, they'll go right to a clean classroom on the next hour. So the two hour block schedule can afford us that time to clean the first classrooms that he were, was in, he or she was in, and then they'll return to a clean classroom on their third hour. So this just gives us another level of safety and the ability to clean uh, all of our rope high touch surfaces, desks, uh, doorknobs, uh, countertops, all those have to be wiped down before that student comes back in. Well, are there gonna be visitors allowed this year in the school buildings? Again, for the highest safety level that we can provide for our students and our staff, we're asking that no visitors are allowed in our buildings. And we know there's gonna be some extenuating circumstances and we'd like you to call ahead so that we can provide the level of safety that we need here. Uh, so no visitors this year, sorry. So Laura, how about, how's transportation gonna look this year for kids? Well, for kids this year, we're going to the same places that we did in the past. Uh, if you live across the Gratiot or across Grosbeck, uh, we, we provide transportation for you. And what's different this year, Chuck, is we have hired bus aides to ride the buses. And each student, before they get on the bus, will have their temperature taken and they will get their uh, hand sanitizer before they even enter the, book, the bus. We're also gonna make sure that everybody is wearing a mask. That's all ages from five to uh, uh, 12th grade, kindergarten to 12th grade this year, everyone gets to wear a mask. All right, I think you've answered all my questions. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to say to everybody before the first day of school? I'm welcoming you back, but I want you to come back safely. So wear your masks, wash your hands, or sanitize and stay six feet apart whenever possible. So we'll see you soon. Tuesday's coming up.